Pastora Betty, and this is Everyday Jesus, a program specially made for you wonderful kids because we know you love to worship, to study, and learn the Word of God. Now, can you do it with Pastora? Can we say to worship, to study, and learn the Word of God? Great job, kids. Now, to begin, we will start with the prayer. Now, can I see your prayer magnets? And let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful day that you have given us. I pray that you will give us wisdom and understanding so that we will be able to apply all of the things that we will be learning today. We love you so much, Lord, and we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus is the best. So right now, let's all stand up and let's worship with Everyday Jesus. Hello kids, it's time to worship the Lord today, so why don't we all stand up? One, two, three! Yeah! Woo! Oh, we worship you every day! Yeah. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. He's the best. Hi, kids. I know you enjoyed our praise and worship time with Pastor Spam and Gary. And I also know you know what time is it, right? It's our Bible story time. So please get your Bibles, your notebooks, and of course, your favorite pens. And once you have them all with you, can you help Pastora remember our rule time for today? Rule number one, hands behave. Rule number two, eyes watchful. Rule number three, ears listening. And rule number four, mouth silent. Great job, kids. Now for our Bible story for today, we will be opening our Bibles to Acts chapter 16, verses 29 to 34. Now kids, can you please get your Bibles and open it to Acts chapter 16, verses 29 to 34? And let's read. And the jailer called for lights and rushed in. And trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. And they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in his house. And he took them in the same hour of the night and washed their wounds. And he was baptized at once, he and all his family. Then he brought them up into his house and set food before them, and he rejoiced along with his entire household that he had believed in God. Wow! Amazing Bible story, right kids? So we have seen Paul and Silas sharing Jesus to the jailer and his entire family. Kids, do you still remember how Paul and Silas escaped prison? Yes! Yes, you are correct. Remember Paul and Silas were worshiping and praying when all of a sudden a great earthquake happened and the doors of the prison cells flew open. And when the jailer saw this, he believed God and got saved. Now, Paul and Silas did not only share Jesus to the jailer, but they also took the Opportunity to share Jesus to his entire family. Kids, did you know what? that we can worship God when we share the gospel to the people around us? Now, kids, can you follow Pastora in these very simple action words? Can we say worship God by sharing the gospel? Can we do it again? Can we say, worship God by sharing the gospel? Now, can we do it for the last time? Can we say, worship God by sharing the gospel? Great job, kids. Yes, kids, we can worship God when we share the gospel to everyone. So right now, you know what time is it, right? It's our question and answer time. So I know you know what to get. You need to get your notebooks and of course your pens. And you can always write down the correct answers so that once we're back in children's church, we can always give you extra tickets for every correct answers. So are you ready? Great! Now let's go to our question number one. Who were the men who shared Jesus to the jailer and to his entire family? Who were the men who shared Jesus to the jailer and to his entire family? Let me give you a clue. Their name starts with letter P and letter S. You got that, kids? Great job. Now let's go to our question number two. Fill in the blank. Worship God by blank the gospel. Worship God 
by Black, the Gospel. You got that, kids? Awesome! So now let's go to our question number three. True or false? We worship God by sharing the gospel to everyone. We worship God by sharing the gospel to everyone. Done, kids? Great! So now let's go to our question number four, which is always our application for today. So kids, there are many ways that we can worship God. And one of those is by sharing the gospel to the people around us. Remember kids, we can worship God by sharing the gospel to everyone, especially to our families. So what are you waiting for kids? Let's share Jesus to them today. So I think that's it for our Bible story for today, and I hope you learn a lot. We'll see you again next time, kids! Hello, kids! I'm Pastor Mikey, and welcome to our Object Lesson! Today, I brought something that our parents always read in the morning. It is made up of a big paper and shaped like a rectangle. Can you guess this object? Good job! It's a newspaper! Can you tell me kids, what is the color of this newspaper? That is right! It is color gray! And can you tell me what this newspaper is filled with? Very good! It is filled with words. If you look in front, it is full of words. If you look at the back, it's full of words too. Hmm, you might think the newspapers are boring or sleepy to look at. But did you know that this is important? Yes! Newspapers help our parents know about the world and their community. Every day, there is always fresh and important news to be shared to everyone. And this reminds me, we also have important news to share with everyone. The good news of Jesus Christ! It may not be fresh because Jesus' story has been around for thousands of years, but it is more important than any news in the world. Do you know why? It's because the good news of Jesus can change lives. This is why it is important for us to always share Jesus to everyone around us so that our family and friends can also be changed by Jesus. One great example is in our Bible story because Paul and Silas shared Jesus to the jailer, the jailer's whole life was changed. He and his household became followers of Jesus from that day on. In the same way, we can also share the goodness of Jesus to our family, friends, and even people we just met. And when we do this, we are following the command of Jesus in Matthew 28, 19 to 20 to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. So kids, always remember that we have the most important news to share with everyone. The good news of Jesus Christ. I hope you learned a lot today, kids. See you again next time. Oh, hi there. So it's me again. And we are still here in the wilderness. And the land of Canaan or the promised land is still... 
it's still a long way to go before we get there. But you know what? While we are traveling, our parents still teaches us about the promise of God. Yes, just recently, our parents taught us what God said to Abraham. God said to Abraham, <clears throat> Do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield, your very great reward. So that's the promise of the Lord to our father Abraham, that Abraham will be the father of many nations and his descendants will be as numerous as the stars in the sky. Well, can you count all of the stars in the sky? Yes, me too. I can't count them all. There are so many. Well, that's the promise of the Lord. And when God promised something, we know that it will happen. Well, I have a song for that. Would you like to learn about that song too? Yes, the song is very easy. Okay, so stand up and jive with me. After this, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. After this, do not be afraid. Abram, Abram, I am your shield, your very great reward. Do not be afraid. Abram, Abram, I am your shield, your very great reward. Do not be afraid. Abram, Abram, I am your shield, your very great reward. Break it down! That's right! So always remember that God is a promise keeper. And when He promises, He keeps it. And so right now, I need to go there. So I'll see you again. Wait for me! Hi kids! This is Pastor Pat. And it's time for our Did You Know segment. Today, Pastora will be sharing with you three things that we need to know from our Bible story for today. So kids, you know what to do, right? When Pastora says, did you know, you should say, What? That's right, you should say, What? So kids, did you know, What? That we are commanded to share, Jesus, that's right. In Matthew 28, 19 to 20, before going to heaven, Jesus commanded his disciples to go into all the world and share the good news that Jesus is our Savior. And this is what exactly Paul and Silas did in our Bible story. They obeyed the commandment of Jesus by sharing the good news to the jailer and even to his whole family. Amazing, right? So kids, let's always remember the command of Jesus and let's always be ready to share the good news about Jesus. We are commanded to share Jesus. And kids, did you know what? that we can worship God by sharing the good news? That's right, we have been learning in our previous lessons that worshiping God is more than just praising or singing. That's right. Romans 15 verse 6 teaches us that when we share the good news to others that Jesus is our Savior, we are actually worshiping God. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it is. So who among you here you want to worship God? Do you want to worship God? Yes! Yes, good job kids. So always be ready to share the gospel to your friends, families, or even to your classmates because we worship God by sharing the good news. We worship God by sharing the good news. And kids, did you know what? that God wants our whole family to be saved? That's right. In our Bible story, it was not just the jailer who accepted Jesus. It was his whole household who were saved. And you know what, kids? They immediately got water baptized after they got saved. Isn't that amazing? That's right. You see, kids, 
God wants all men to be saved, and He wants everyone in your family to be saved as well. God wants our whole family to be saved. So kids, let's play a game so that you will be able to remember all the three things that we need to know from our Bible story for today. Are you ready? Yes, I'm going to give you some clues and you're going to fill in the blanks. Alright, for the first one, we are commanded to share. We are commanded to share. What was your answer? Good job, kids! We are commanded to share Jesus. That's right. And for the second one, we can worship God by sharing the... We can worship God by sharing the... What was your answer? Good job, kids! We can worship God by sharing the good news. And for the third one, God wants our... To be saved. God wants our to be saved. What was your answer? Good job, kids! God wants our whole family to be saved. So, I guess that's it for now for our Did You Know segment. I hope that you learned a lot, kids! See you! Hi, kids! I'm at DC. And today we are going to learn a new dance. Our song for today is entitled, God is Great. May I invite you to stand up. One, two, three. Very good. We will be learning the chorus part of the song. The steps goes with the lyrics. God is great and his praise fills the earth, fills the heavens. And your name will be praised through all the world. Ready? Five, six. God is great and His praise fills the earth, fills the heavens, and your name will be praised through all the world. One more time. Five, six. God is great and His praise Fills the earth, fills the heavens, and your name will be praised through all the world. Now, let's do it with music. Did you enjoy that, kids? And you did a great job! Psalm 149 verse 3 says, Praise His name with dancing, accompanied by tambourine and harp. Let's dance as we worship the Lord together! Hi kids! This is Pastora Armira. Are you ready to learn a new memory verse song today? Yes! Our verse for today is Matthew 28, 20. Repeat after me. Say Matthew 28, 20. Very good. Now the song goes something like this. Very good.
good. Kids, it's very easy, right? Let's do it again one more time. kids well that's it for memory verse song this is pastora armira see you again next time welcome back kids so i hope you learn a lot from our episode today so right now it's our prayer time do you still remember our three prayer requests yes first we will be praying for our government and church leaders alike that God will always give them wisdom and understanding so that they can always make the best decisions for the people. Secondly, we will be praying for your families, that God will always keep them safe, and that God will always bless the work of the hands of your parents. And third, we will be praying for you, wonderful kids. What do you want Jesus to do for you? Now, as for us, you know our prayer request for you always is that you will continuously grow in the fear and the knowledge of the Lord, you will always be productive, and that you will always be a blessing to the people around you. So are you ready to pray, kids? Yes! Let's have our prayer magnets, and let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful day that you have given us, and thank you for all of the things that we have learned. Right now, we pray for our government and church leaders alike, that God, you will give them wisdom and understanding so that they can always make the best decisions for the people. Lord, we pray for our families, that you will always bless the work of the hands of our parents and that you will always keep everybody safe. And Lord, lastly, we pray for these wonderful kids, that you will continuously make them grow in the fear and the knowledge of the Lord. They will always be productive and that they will always be a blessing to the people around them. Thank you so much, Lord, and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. He's the best. So that's it, kids, for Everyday Jesus Today. We'll see you again next time.